which might be to Main Street today. So hi, Brian Johnson of the Fulton County Community Foundation. Hi, Brian. Good morning, Tom. It was a pleasant walk down, so yeah, we appreciate you bringing nice. back this nice Glad to do Florida. it. Glad to do it um, anytime. Let us really. know next time yeah. you're going. So I will do that. Get, get our order put in early. <laughs> I think it's a great so, idea. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, busy times at the busy foundation. Time, busy you times. Bet. It's spring, and that always brings a number of things around. Um, of course, we're in the time of scholarship season. Um, we're working on making the selections for the high school seniors that have applied and we'll be announcing those in the near future. But um, a couple of things that are out there currently, um, the Ginger Miller Higher Education Scholarship, that's for students pursuing a graduate level degree. Um, they need to be residents of Fulton County and have maintained at least a B GPA during their college career. Um, and also the Frederick Rakestraw Law Scholarship. That is for a student who was a, a Fulton County resident for three years during their high school career and is enrolled at any law school in the United States um, pursuing their doctorate um, in law. Okay. Um, they do have to have a cumulative GPA of at least 2.25 for that. Um, and both of those applications are available on our website, which is nicf.org. Um, and the deadline for both is July 1st. So I'd encourage students if you're looking for that. Um, a lot of times we see people that are um, going back to school to complete their graduate degree um, that are living in the community that um, have been helped by the Ginger Miller Scholarship. And um, often we need some help getting the word out about the Rake Straw Law Scholarship because those students are in school now. Right. And, um, so if you know somebody that is attending or planning to attend law school help us pass the word on that again the application deadline is july 1st so um, another granting opportunity is the kiwana union township community endowment and of course that fund was established in 2010 um, by a number of individuals and businesses and organizations in the kiwana area and what that does is it provides grants for projects specifically within the union township area so um, things like the library has added some programming. Um, the VFW was able to provide some renovations for their facility that the public uses. Um, the food pantry was able to expand some services and the Kiwana Fall Festival, of course, a big deal exactly. in, in Kiwana, um, have all received grants from that. So um, that application deadline is coming up. Um, it's May 3rd, so folks have a little bit more than a week to get that. Um, application in again that's available on our website nicf.org if folks have questions about that um, we'd love to talk to you answer any questions you may have so so well i'm not sure if we say as heard on radio <laughs> sometimes as seen on tv but we've been talking about this little thing called the lily endowment yes we have phase six gift match every month for the last couple of years right yeah exactly. it's been um, since August of 2014 when we were, received word that Lily was going to do this and we've been giving updates on how we are and my update I can give today is that we're done exactly um, the deadline was March 31st we received the last gift that completed that match on March 30th um, we have successfully raised five hundred thousand wow. dollars from folks in the community and some folks that are out of the community but want to continue supporting the community and just a wonderful outpouring of um, support is interesting I was looking back at some of the numbers um, during the program we had over six hundred and thirty um, gifts given thank you by over three hundred donors so you look at the amount of community support that it's excellent that went into that and it's just been wonderful to see um, we had 13 new community funds established during the program we had some families some businesses um, just groups of individuals um, were able to create new endowment funds that in the future will start granting to um, projects and the most important thing of this about this is it will be matched, right? It will be matched. Okay. So the five hundred thousand that we raise locally, Lily Endowment gives us five hundred thousand dollars, which turns into a million dollars in community funds. Just like that. And what happens every year is that adds an extra forty thousand dollars every single year that we can grant out wow. to community needs. That's so amazing. You think Absolutely about amazing. Forty thousand dollars. That's not an insignificant amount. No, that's uh, right. And so I'd just like to say thank you to everybody um, who supported this program. Um, I know one of our big deals was Giving Tuesday um, that really 
helped propel us on the way. I um, raised over $77,000. I think we can probably credit the radio station for helping with that. You were there. You the know, morning. we had a lot of fun that day. It we was really a lot did. of fun. Um, we had no idea what was going to happen, and so we're talking about turning that into a, an, a into a potential annual thing. I think that would be great. Um, that was successful. But thank you to everybody who helped make a gift, big or small, who helped talk about this, who helped um, us along the way of being successful. It, it's wonderful. We say our community is a giving community, and I'm not sure how many people thought when we first said we're going to try and raise $500,000 for community funds, how many people thought we were going to be successful, but um, we are. And Excellent. Thank you to everybody who helped us along the way at this, in this. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing the impact that these funds will have in the near future. So um, so it's, it's exciting. And just a reminder, our grant applications, the community support applications, and also our impact grant applications are available on our website, NICF.org. We're trying something new this year. No deadline, so if somebody has a project any time of year and wants to talk to us about it and complete a grant application, we'd love to talk to people about, um, about what their idea for the project is and, and hopefully be able to financially support some really good projects in our community. So, Excellent. Excellent. Ex exciting, exciting things going on That's right. with the foundation. So. Well, speaking about it's exciting, we have a guest with us today. Um, Joe Koch is the CEO of Fulton County REMC. Welcome, Joe. Hey, good to be here. And we've, we've asked Joe to come talk about another fund that grants um, the Fulton County REMC Operation Roundup. I guess start off telling us, Joe, a little bit what is Operation Roundup? Uh, Operation Roundup, our members have the opportunity to round their uh, electric bill up to the nearest dollar. Uh, I know, uh, I think both of you probably participate in that. We do. Um, so if your bill is, you know, 40, $47.50, you pay 48. Uh, or 50. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or 100. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, and then we, we take those, uh, those pennies, so to speak, uh, and uh, put them all together. We have an account with, um, you know, uh, donor advised fund with um, Northern Indiana Community Foundation uh, and then every quarter uh, we have a board that meets and we um, uh, we accept applications the board reviews the applications and and disperses the uh, the funds accordingly uh, and generally it's right around 7,000 each quarter that we give away um, contribute back to the community now in our community is a little bit bigger than Fulton County because we serve parts of Pulaski County and Cass County and a little bit in Marshall and Miami County. Um, so it, it's it's a little bigger than just Fulton County, but but we're a little bigger than just and Fulton County. So I guess you define the area that you give the grants in the in the RMC service area. It's in the that? service area or communities that are on the edge. You know, okay. we've uh, Winnemac's really on the on the edge. They have their own municipality, um, but. Uh, you know, a lot of the people on our system use uh, use those uh, organizations over there. Joe, so let's go back to your original example. Forty-seven dollars and fifty cents, and I pay forty-eight dollars. That would be a plus of fifty cents. That credit still shows up on my next bill, right? Yeah, I, I mean, you you pay the, the right. So even though I paid over the fifty cents, you're going to take that put into the fund, but I'm still going to get that fifty cent yeah. credit. Yeah, if you and I think it's 50. important for people to understand that that you're not being penalized because the REMC is using this money in another way. Right, that is right. And then that is tax deductible. At, uh, your January and February, February bills should have the total you paid uh, to Operation Roundup or contributed to Operation Roundup. I never thought to look there. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So give us a little bit of history. How did, how did this start and when did Operation Roundup um, in Fulton County start? We started in 2004. Wow. Uh, February of 2004, uh, so it's uh, been 12 years, um, and uh, it, it was uh, it was tough at first. You know, we get two or three applications each <laughs> quarter, and and uh, just as an example, we had 13 um, applications for this last meeting, which was our uh, uh, April 1st deadline. Um, so the board had had several to to choose from, and when you get 13, it's kind of tough to to uh, spread that money out. Everybody likes to get a little bit, so. People always chuckle when I say it's it's difficult to give money away, and I think that 
Um, this is kind of an example of it. you get these applications and they're not good they're not bad applications it's just right. sometimes there's not quite enough funds to go around for everything and and that's you know that's the case you have some that will come in and and you know they want they'll need two thousand or, or three thousand and and you know we just don't have the funds to do that the board will say okay well we can give them this amount um, you know and other times when we only have four or five applications we can afford to yeah. you know give out a little bit more yeah. If my application is not acted on, will you keep it on file, or do I need to reapply? You need to reapply. Okay. Um, reapply. We've uh, we had thirteen. We did not fund three of them, and we we funded ten um, this past month. Excellent. So. And maybe give us an example of some of the projects that Operation Roundup has supported in the past. And I know, I don't know if you're quite ready to announce the latest round of recipients, but. I can. I'll do that now. Okay. Um, and, and I had it on my desk. So this is, this is breaking news, Tom. I think. <laughs> I'm is ready. That I'm ready. News industry? I, honestly, I got to tell you, I called all of them and, and everybody that applied, so they all know. Okay. So, uh, Monterey Days Festival, uh, three hundred dollars. That was for uh, to help sponsor some live entertainment at their uh, festival. Uh, Akron Elementary. This is an odd number, three hundred and sixty-six dollars. But they're going to get some chalk and send it home with the kindergartners and first graders so they can, you know, have some fun over the summer and, and write. Um, camp Weekend, uh, $1,000. Uh, that's for some camper scholarships. I think that'll be worth 20 uh, scholarships. Uh, Fulton County uh, Animal uh, Center. Uh, they're going to, they want to offer some low-cost uh, microchipping for animals. Uh, so... Uh, uh, $500 to them. Uh, Star City Lions Club. I don't know if everybody knows where Star City is. It's just south of Winnemac. Um, their community building needs a new roof. Um, and they've done a really good job of raising funds. Uh, but uh, we got a thousand for them to sort of help them, help them get to that number that they need. Uh, found it, Fulton County Council on Aging, $750. Uh, they had a computer crash, so we helped them out with that. Um, Compassionate Health Center, uh, $750 for some CPAP machines. Uh, not, uh, you know, I think sleep apnea is a, a bigger issue than most of us think, and um, they have some patients there that uh, could really use that. Uh, Akron Park Board, um, there's a, a young man uh, trying to get a dog park established over in Akron. So uh, Excellent idea. Yeah, that's, that's pretty neat, uh, $750 uh, for that cause. Uh, Rochester Downtown Partnership, $750 for their block party. And then uh, uh, Purdue Extension in Plaskite County is going to uh, have a uh, plant a seed to serve a need program where they're going to teach kids how to uh, garden. So, uh, and they got $750. So, so just kind of a, a, a wide variety of projects throughout the community. and. And the areas you serve it, it is um, and it's it's interesting I never knew that there were so many projects that are out there and available to you know to help and I mean so many people really have some good ideas and have a good heart and, yeah. and trying to make this a better place and yeah that sort of fits in with you know the co-op theme of concern for community and and uh, trying to make us a better better place yeah. Well, you mentioned some of the projects. If somebody has an idea for a project and thinks, well, this may be something that our AMC Roundup may be interested in funding, how would they go about that process? Um, yeah, you can pick up an application at, at our office. Uh, it's available online at our website. Um, also, I believe it's on the Community it Foundation uh, website. Um, uh, fill out the application. Uh, the applications are due at the first uh, day of each quarter so January 1st April 1st July 1st and October 1st yeah. and we wanted to talk a little bit today because we have kind of a, a very impressive number if you will so since 2004 when this started give us an idea of how much in grants has been given out in the community uh, we're over 300,000 excellent that's, that's amazing so. so what you're saying is my 50 or 60 or 25 cents every month has turned into over three hundred thousand dollars in, in grants to the community it, it has and and um, you, you stop and think about uh, some of these projects that uh, we've given to and and uh, it's, it's kind of neat yeah and 
do you have an idea of how many, what percentage of the REMC members participate in Operation Roundup? We're uh, about 80 to 85 percent participation. Okay. So, so very pretty much most members. Most members. And, most members. And if somebody's not participating now and they say, hey, I think I'd like to participate in that, how would they go about doing that? Well, they can call the office at 223-3156 and ask to be uh, put on Operation Roundup um, or go into the office. Um, you can, uh, you know, those are the two best ways to contact us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just a, a wonderful program, and again, it's we get to see all these projects that are going on and, and people are volunteering and, and coming up with good ideas and saying we can make this happen and Operation Roundup helps make that happen. So um, well, I'd like to say thank you to REMC, um, all the folks that help with the Operation Roundup, all the folks that do these projects that help make an impact in our community. So give us a reminder again, Joe, um, contact information if somebody's has an idea for a grant application or wants to get up on Operation Roundup? Um, if, if they want to uh, sign up for Operation Roundup, call the office, 574-223-3156. Uh, uh, stop by the office. Um, you know, we monitor our Facebook page. Just, you know, send us a, a message there and I think we can get that done. Um, if you have an idea and you want to apply, uh, you can Go online, www.fcremc.coop. Uh, go to the Community Foundation website. Stop by the office. Uh, pick up an application. And if you have questions, uh, you know, feel free to, you know, give me a call. Set up a time. We can we can go over it and, and talk about it. I I have people call me and say, hey, you know, what about this for this application? Um, you know, the the requirements for the application are. Are really pretty easy it's a and I don't think it takes very long to fill it out so well again from from a community member and also a REMC member thank you for the service that that REMC is providing through the coordination of Operation Roundup and the impact in the community I mean at three hundred thousand dollars you look at that and you think my 50 cents Good, a month sure. or six dollars a year right. has, has really made a big impact so it's to me it's exciting to see that number and and see the difference that this fund is making. So, well, it's, we put it in place for that, and and you know the seventh cooperative principle is concern for community, and and maybe what a lot of people don't realize also is we we also donate um, time and labor to other projects uh, from the REMC just to to help the community out. Um, that's really a big uh, that's that's one of our big things we enjoy being a part of the community and, and try and find ways to give back and so this is just one example and I think we have a number of businesses in the community that we refer to as good community citizens and as as a beneficiary of some of the things that REMC has helped with um, thank you for for all the the support that you provide to our community throughout thanks and uh, you know it's it's our pleasure all right well, okay. just a quick reminder about a couple of things. Of course, the scholarship application for the Ginger Miller Higher Education Scholarship and the Frederick Rakestraw Law Scholarship. Um, those applications are due July 1st. Um, our Kiwana Union Township Community Endowment, the application is May 3rd, is the deadline for that. And um, again, thank you to everybody. We talk about REMC Roundup. We talk about things like the Lily Match and how we come together as a community and we think, well, a lot of people made this happen. And that's the idea of the Community Foundation. We don't, you don't have to be independently wealthy to be able to make an impact in the community. And that's our goal is to help everybody be able to make some impact in our community. And so thank you to all the donors that helped to um, make this possible. Um, we're looking forward to seeing the impact that's, that's gonna happen in our community because people stepped up and said, hey, I can help in some way with this fundraiser. So um, if folks have questions about what we talked about today, um, you can give us, check us out on the web, um, nicf.org. Of course, the applications are there, and REMC Operation Roundup information is there as well. Um, we, you can always give us a call, 224-3223. Um, check us out on Facebook under Northern Indiana Community Foundation. 
and you're always welcome to stop in our office, 715 Main Street here in Rochester. We're always looking for folks who have good ideas and, and seeing how the foundation can help bring those ideas into a reality for our community. Ron Johnson, thank you very much. Joe Koch, thank you very much for being here on the Foundation Program this month. Thank, thank you, you for having me.